before we start understanding the architecture of servlets we need to understand what servlets is a servlet is a java programming language class that is used to extend the capabilities of servers that host applications accessed by means of a request response programming model although servlets can respond to any type of request they are commonly used to extend the applications hosted by web servers java servlets often serve the same purpose as programs implemented using the cgi but servlets offer several advantages in comparison with the cgi servlets execute within the address space of a web server it is not necessary to create a separate process to handle each client request so performance is significantly better servlets are platform independent because they are written in java java security manager on the server enforces a set of restrictions to protect the resources on a server machine so servlets are trusted the full functionality of the java class libraries is available to a servlet it can communicate with applets databases or other software servlets doesn't have a main method for its execution they require some help when a request comes in someone has to instantiate the servlet someone has to get the request and the response to the servlet someone has to manage the life death and resources of the servlet and that someone is the web container which is also popularly called as servlet container or servlet engine the point we need to remember is since the servlets doesn't have a main method they are under the control of another java application called as a web container servlets are supported by different web containers such as tomcat jetty java web server and resin etc now let us understand the high level architecture of servlets whenever a client types in a url at the browser and sends a http request for the servlet instead of a static page the web server application like tomcat the web container app that is running at the web server machine will get the request and the container sees that the request is for a servlet so the container creates two objects http servlet request and http servlet response then the container finds the correct servlet based on the url in the request and creates or allocates a thread for that request and then passes the request and response objects to the servlet thread the container calls the servlets service method depending on the type of request the service method calls either the do get or do post method for this scenario as i mentioned the client types in the url the request will be an http get i will discuss in detail about this methods while explaining the servlets life cycle the do get method generates the dynamic page and stuffs the page into the response object we need to remember that the container still has a reference to the response object the thread completes and the container converts the response object into an http response and sends it back to the client then deletes the request and response objects in the next clip we shall understand the servlet class hierarchy and servlet life cycle in detail which plays a major role in understanding the servlet programming